And the Pueblo City Council has reversed an earlier decision and will now help fund the expansion of a controversial needle exchange program in Bessemer. That has business owners concerned about how this abrupt about face could impact their neighborhood. Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live in the Bessemer neighborhood at Gagliano's Italian Market. Barbara, what are business owners most concerned about there? Bart Heather, the owner of this Italian market, says he finds needles near his business every week. And he says when the Southern Colorado Harm Reduction Association moves into that bigger building, it's going to make the drug problem here in the Bessemer neighborhood worse. But Southern Colorado Harm Reduction Association says giving out clean and free needles helps prevent spreading diseases like HIV. Dozens of needles found near Vincent Gagliano's business is something he says has been a common sight since Colorado Harm Reduction Association started its needle exchange. This week, in a 5-2 to two vote, the Pueblo City Council awarded nearly $1 million to the Southern Colorado Harm Reduction Association. Those funds are supposed to help the group turn this board of the building into their new wellness center. Council also voted 5-2 on an amendment that removed a prohibition on operating the syringe exchange program at this new location. This improvement is going to make a huge impact in this community. Every one of these blocks, there you will find most of the businesses boarded up and enclosed, and they get broken into. And so if we don't do something like this in this community, it's going to continue to get worse. And yes, we have issues in this community, but there is nothing here to counter that and make it better. We need to support the ones that have a mission where it's not about, you know, giving them syringes or needles to help with their drug uh, injection. The Southern Colorado Harm Reduction Association tells me that this is a safer way to help people who struggle with drug addiction. This new wellness center is expected to open sometime next year. Reporting live from the Bessemer neighborhood, Barbara Fox, KRDO News Channel 13.